Welcome to another episode of Bankside Cuisine. I'm Simon and today we're going to be cooking some little barbecue chicken skewers. Now these are superb little chicken skewers that we've got from uh, Anton at the Hungry Carper. I'm going to talk you through these, what we're going to do and then what we're going to do to go with them. So we've got the chicken skewers, I've got some red onions, we've got some parmentia potatoes that are already done, diced and cut. I've got some sweet corn and some barbecue sauce. So first of all, I've preheated my pans. We've got some oil in those. You can see that simmering away nicely. And we're gonna start off by putting the chicken skewers into the larger compartment of the pan over here. So we've got our chicken skewers nicely cooking away there in the pan. You can see the oil's already heated. It's simmering in this pan. So the next thing into there, we've got some red onions. Now I've just cut these into wedges and pulled them apart. I don't want them too small. As you can see they're already starting to cook off. All right, so those onions are in the pan. We're just gonna cook those off for a minute or so just so they start to, uh, to cook through with the cooking process. Then we're gonna add the potatoes into there as well. So they're all gonna cook through together. All right, so you can see on those onions, we're starting to get a nice little bit of coloration. So the next thing to go in there is our potatoes. Now these are already coated, there's a little bit of butter on them already. You've got some herbs on there and that's exactly what we want. So we're gonna use that as it heats up. Those, that little bit of butter that's on there is just gonna come off, melt, coat them and just help to crisp and color them up. Right, so we've just turned these chicken over, the chicken skewers over. What we're going to do, we're going to keep turning them so they don't just cook on one side. We're going to cook them evenly all the way through. And it's just going to help to keep that moisture in there and colour them evenly. Right, so you can see that we're starting to get some colourisation now on the chicken. We're getting it on the potatoes. Next in with the potatoes is some sweet corn. That's just going to add a nice little bit of sweetness to the dish. It works really well. Uh, alongside the barbecue sauce. Now you can see there's not a lot of juice in these cans but what there is I've just added into it so it's just going to help finish cooking those potatoes through. That little bit of steam coming off the pan as you can see there is going to work wonders. Right so the chicken's nearly cooked, the potatoes are cooked through. What we're now going to do I've got some of my favourite little granules. We've got the garlic granules we're just going to season this up with. I've got some sea salt. Some black pepper. And then last of all, into the potatoes, I'm actually going to add some barbecue sauce. I'm just going to mix that through. Now, you could have put some bacon lardons into this, you could have put a little bit of dosherit though, uh, you could put some mushrooms, whatever you like really. This is just a nice little base standard. Uh, add some spinach through it as well if you want. Uh, but this is just a nice little standard to go with the chicken and it's almost like a warm uh, potato salad. Right, so there we go. Our hot barbecue potato salads cooked through. Our chicken skewers are cooked through. All that's left to do now is just plate up. Now once again with all my meals, this will feed one of you if you're really hungry. There's enough there for a couple of you if you're not. You really are going to have to excuse the weather. It's all just changed while we've been filming this. It's now slinging it down. So uh, excuse the added water on the plate. You don't necessarily have to do that yourself. And there we go. A simple little warm barbecue potato salad with sweet corn and onions and some barbecue chicken skewers from the Hungry Carper. You could serve this with your favourite coleslaw, uh, anything, some nice pita breads, anything that you like, but this, the flavours in this are going to be sweet, they're going to be tangy, and they're going to be really, really good on a winter's day bankside.